is Java a hundred percent pure object oriented programming language? I think you must all have heard about this topic. Some of you may know the answer of this question and some of you might get confused and uh, get confusion about this topic. So in this presentation, we will be dealing with the same. So starting with the presentation, good morning to all of you. My name is Deepak, BCA PPU batch one third year. Let's start the presentation. Starting with the topic, what is object oriented programming? Object oriented programming is a concept which deals with the real world entity which have certain state and behavior. Talking about Java, Java is a object based programming language. If I am talking about object based and object oriented programming language, there is a little bit difference between them. If I am telling that uh, Java is an object based programming language, for single line of output on a console, we have to use the concept of classes and object. This means the, the, the full uh, programming of Java is based on object oriented concepts. Without the use of classes and object, it is impossible to write, uh, get output on the console, a single, uh, a single line of output on the console. Apart from the object, uh, other languages like C++ and Python, where we can do programming without the use of object, object oriented concept also. So we can say that, that C, C++ and Python can be set as object oriented programming language and Java can be called as object based programming language. So the statement that Java is an object based programming language may convince anyone that Java can be a pure object oriented programming language. Before we move on to any conclusion, let's uh, see what are the criteria that a programming language need to follow to be a 100% pure object oriented programming language. Here are the criteria that, uh, that a programming language must follow to be a pure object oriented uh, programming language. That uh, the first four is the four main pillars of the object oriented programming that is polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction and inheritance. The fourth one and the fourth and fifth one is the predefined data types and pre user defined types must be represented as object. And last one is the operation that are to be performed on objects should be through the methods uh, made for um, defined for those objects. These uh, seven things must a programming language must have to be a 100% pure object oriented programming. How does Java qualifies an object oriented programming language? As we know that Java supports uh, object oriented programming that's uh, that uh, Java supports the concepts of classes, object, polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction and inheritance. If there is a confusion uh, that ki, uh, Java is uh, not a pure object oriented programming language, there must be something lacking behind, something, some concept may be lack or some extra concept will be uh, introduced by Java that uh, make a confusion among people that it is not a pure object oriented programming. Let's see what are the, uh, what, uh, why there is a hesitation on Java being a pure object oriented programming language. Here the some reasons why Java is not called as a, a pure object oriented programming language. That is the use of primitive data types. That Java supports eight primitive data types which can not used as a object for storing data. We know that in object oriented programming language, we store data in, in, in a object, all the data that are stored in the, in the form of objects. And another one is a static member in a Java class, Java. These are these two reasons, uh, especially uh, make, make uh, creates a hesitation among uh, that it is not a pure 100% object oriented programming. The question arises that is it possible to make a Java 100% pure object oriented programming language? You might be thinking about wrapper classes that convert the uh, primitive data types to uh, uh, you, we can use primitive data types as an object where eight, uh, 8 classes are defined for 8 primitive data types so we can use 
uh, in place of primitive data types, we can use wrapper classes objects uh, there. The answer is no. We cannot. It is not possible to make Java as a pure object-oriented programming language because in wrapper class also we can convert the primitive data types to uh, wrapper classes. And behind the scene, it uses the concept of auto boxing, unboxing that uh, that cannot make it completely 100% pure object-oriented programming. But we can perform 100% pure object-oriented programming in Java with the help of wrapper, uh, wrapper classes. Some of the uh, pure object-oriented programming languages in the market available are Smalltalk, Squeak, Faro, Erlang, and many more. Let's move to the conclusion. So, from the um, uh, previous slides, we are we understand why Java is not called as a pure object-oriented programming language. Despite of the deviation from the uh, that it is not called an object-oriented programming language, but it is a powerful object-oriented programming that follows the concept of ob uh, classes, object inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction. Overall, uh, in my opinion, uh, Java is still not, be on not being a 100% pure object-oriented programming language. It is a powerful object-oriented programming language that is used by most of the organization around the world for creating a robust and powerful application. Thank you.